안녕 하십니까 여러분. 저는 연극 아지입니다. And today I would love to show you how to make a super simple Apple PPT English bomb game. So let's get straight into it. If you would like to download the template that I provided in the description of this video, that would be really useful. And what we have in the template is a slide that we can use for the main questions of the game. As you can see, we have the numbers from 1 to 24. This is going to make a kind of medium sized game that could be played for 20 to 30 minutes. So we're going to make an Apple game. So if we go into a web browser and just do a search, I'm going to go for Apple Cute PNG. I want to search for PNG files because they have transparent backgrounds that are perfect for making PPT games. And I'm going to choose this second image. This looks pretty good. And right click on this one and then choose copy image. Now, if I go back into the uh, main question slide, all I need to do is control V to paste the apple into the slide. And in the top right hand corner, I'm going to left click on here and drag down to change the size of the uh, apple picture. And let's put him on question number one, make him a little bit bigger and center center him up like that. So obviously we need to use some animations to make this uh, game work. So click on animations and then go to add animations, uh, scroll down and then look at the exit animations. And I'm going to choose fade. Okay, so picture eight here is going to fade. And if we go into the animation pane, click on the drop down arrow here and choose timing. Now in timing, we can go to triggers and then we're going to change this to start effect on click of blah, blah, blah. So you can see there are lots of text boxes here. We can ignore all of these. Keep scrolling down and then we're going to find picture eight. Click on this one and then click on OK. So if I open up this uh, slide, now when I click on this apple, it's going to disappear like this. Good. So now I'm going to have to make uh, more of these. So just simply there, uh, copy and then control V will paste another apple here. Uh, control V and we can make number three, control V. And now we have number four and control V. We have number five. And then the last one, control V number six. Now, obviously you can see that's a, kind of a little bit slow. So once you've got the six apples together, uh, click on the first one and then push the shift key on the keyboard and keep holding it. And then just click on the other apples like this and then go right click, let go of the shift key and go right click and then choose copy and click uh, just outside the apples now and then control V and we can paste six apples at a time and paste again. You can see this is much quicker saves a lot of time and then put the final ones down the bottom here good perfect so we don't need these uh these lines here anymore so just click on the first one hold the shift key and then you can select the other lines and then let go of the shift key and then right click and cut good so now those lines are gone now we have our main question slide I don't know, do you think it looks a little bit boring? So let's go back to our search engine. I'm just gonna search for Apple background. We're probably gonna get a lot of stuff uh, related to Apple phones. But if we search around, let's see there's some green apples here. I'm gonna go for some more red color apples here. So click on this one and then right click and copy image. Let's go back to PPT and um, let's choose a blank slide uh, if you want to make a blank slide just go to home and then choose new slide like this and then ctrl v that will paste in the apples and then just make this uh, this picture fit the whole slide like this you can see these design ideas that come up on the side here uh, i don't need any of those at this time so just click on x to delete that one so what we really need is a more transparent image. So what I would usually do for this is go to animations, 
go to add animation and then go to transparency. So now we have a more transparent image like this. But to make it more permanent, what I'm going to do is click uh, start with previous here in the animation pane and then open up this image. And if you're using a Windows computer, just hit on the print screen key, push the print screen key and then exit. And then let's come back to our main question slide here and then control V that's going to paste that nice transparent image over the questions. Well, we can't see the questions now, so that's not good. So just click on the image and then go right click and then go send to back. There you go. Look at that. That looks quite nice, actually. So we have the questions from 1 to 24. That's great. So what we're going to do now is start creating our question and answer slide. So I'm going to add another new slide. Click on new slide in the top left hand corner. And to make our question and answer box, uh, make sure that you're on home. And then go over to the right hand side here and let's choose rectangle with rounded corners, okay? And simply left click and then drag across and you can draw this box out. Choose a nice kind of uh, average size that you want to use. And uh, let's go back to home. I like the shape outline to be black, so set that one to black. And I'd like to shape fill with a color white. You can choose any color that you would like. And of course, we want to put some text in here. So in the home function, click on the drop down arrow box here. Uh, I'm going to choose uh, Comic Sans. Ooh, sorry, I didn't select it there. Let's click it again. Good, Comic Sans. And then I'm going to choose the text color of black. And then I'm going to write in something. So I've got Apple Question. Apple Question. If I left click on the text, highlight it, I can then use this uh, arrow here to make the text bigger. And then just left click to finish that one there. Good, so we've got Apple question. Now let's go back to animations. Click on animations. Click on add animation. And this time we're going to use an entrance animation. So I'm gonna choose a nice easy one. I'm gonna choose fade like this. And then in the animation pane in the right hand corner here, I'm gonna click on the drop down arrow and choose start with previous. So what this would do, when the slide opens, this um, rectangular box with the text is going to open up, it's going to animate instantly without any clicking or space bars or anything. Good. So I got my Apple question. You know, it looks a bit boring again. So if we go back into uh, the animation pane, go to effect options. And this time in effect, let's go to sound. You can see that there is no sound set. Click on this drop down arrow box and then we can choose one of these preset sounds that PowerPoint has. Let's choose a really nice simple one. Uh, breeze is a nice one to use. So select breeze and click OK. And now it's going to have this breeze sound when um, this rectangular box opens up. Good. So now let's click on home and let's go to the rectangular, re sorry, rectangle rounded corners again. And let's draw another box. If you want to make it exactly the same, you could copy and paste this one. Or you may want to make it slightly bigger or smaller. And do the same thing again. Go to Home, um, Shape Fill. This time, well, because it's this Apple game, what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose the red color. I'm going to have a very strong red color. You can choose more fill colors. If you want to make some uh, custom colors, you can. Um, I might do this actually, make a light red color. It's almost orange. Light red, light orange color like this. And make the shape outline as black. And let's go back to animations. Again, we're going to use the add animation. And I'm going to choose the fade again. Okay. So this time, I'm not going to change any settings here. I'm going to make it so that it will, it will, the animation will happen on the click of the mouse or on the push of the space bar. So it's going to look like this. The Apple question will open up and then push the space bar or click the mouse 
and then the answer is going to come up here. Of course, we need to put some text in there. So let's just write something in here. Um, what I would do, go back to home and make sure the text is a good color. Choose black. And then we got Apple answer. Good. Apple answer. Let's put an exclamation mark on there and select that text and use this uh, up arrow to make the size bigger. And actually the font is not correct. I want the font to be uh, Comic Sans. So just click on this drop down arrow box, choose uh, Comic Sans. Uh, font size is 66. That's the same font size as the question. Okay, so we got a question and an answer. You can play around with these. You can change the size, make them bigger or smaller as you want. Good. Now, of course, we want to put something in the middle. That's the place where our picture or text or whatever's going to be used to actually prompt the question. So go into home and then go to rectangular, uh, sorry, rectangle with rounded corners and left click and draw across, okay, like this and pull it up. Uh, I don't like this blue color, so as always, go to home and you can fill this with uh, any color you like. I'm going to make it white and then make the shape outline as black. Good. So look at this. We have our question and our Apple <laughs> answer. Okay, so this question and answer slide, it does look a little bit boring again. So let's try and make it more interesting. Now we did use this background image before. I'd like to delete this one at this point. So simply right click on the mouse and choose cut to delete uh, any PowerPoint slide. And let's go back to a search engine. Uh, very simply, I'm just going to search uh, apples and see what I can get. Go to images. <laughs> That's a good image. I like that. Um, let's choose a different image this time. Um, that one is quite good. Actually, let's go for this one here. Apple Nutrition. I'm going to right click on this and choose copy. And let's go back to our uh, question and answer slide and simply CTRL C and paste the image and light it up. Uh, let's stretch it out a little bit. Uh, stretch it out so it fills the whole frame and then simply right click and then send to back. Look at that. So now we have our question and our answer with uh, an Apple background. If you want to, you can add a transparency onto the uh, large rectangular box. Simply go to animations, choose add animation, and then go to transparency. And actually move this transparency up to the top in the animation pane and select it as start with previous. Now, if we set it like this, when we open it up, we can actually see through that rectangular box in the middle. So we've got the question and our answer, good. The final thing to make it more interesting, how about we add a sound onto the answer part? Simply go to effect options again and choose a uh, sound. Um, what's good for a sound? Actually, I like a chime. Chime is a nice positive sound. Click on this one, choose OK. Cool. Should be able to hear that OK. So let's open up this slide. We've got the Apple question with the breeze. Push the space bar <laughs> and we get the chime. Cool. So now we have a main question slide and a question and answer slide. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to start making the actual points for the game. This is going to be the really fun part. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to a search engine. Um, I'm going to search for the same thing again, Apple Cute PNG, and look in the images. And yeah, I like this one, this one, Teacher Apple Clip Art. So right click and copy the image, and then go back to PowerPoint and Control V to paste the imaging, and delete out the design ideas, and uh, left click in the top right hand corner and make this image smaller. Yeah, around about this size should be good. Put it in the bottom left hand corner and let's go to add animation. Now this time we're going to use an entrance animation. Uh, we use something slightly different though. Let's use a floating 
So the image floats in, that looks really nice. Uh, click on the drop down arrow, choose effect options, and let's choose a sound. I think the arrow sound would be perfect, like this. Nice uh, sharp arrow sound. And then let's go back to the animation pane, click on the drop down arrow and choose start with previous, okay? So this uh, one point here is gonna automatically uh, load up when we open the PPT. So we're gonna want more than one point, so simply click on the picture, right click and copy and then paste, CTRLRV. So now I have a second apple. I'm gonna put this apple here uh, just above it on the right hand side and then if we go into the animation pane choose timing and let's just put the delay of one second okay and click OK so now we have these two apples for two points one two cool so let's um, copy the second apple and CTLRV paste that one this time I put the apple down on the bottom in the middle. And same kind of structure here, go to timing. Now make the delay two seconds, okay? And three apples, three points. And copy this one again, and then paste this one again. Let's put this one up the top here, uh, just slightly over to the right there, cool. And this time, same structure, timing, and then make the delay four seconds, okay? And for the final one, the fifth point here, copy this one again and paste, bring it down into the bottom and go to timing and make this one with a four seconds delay, good. So let's just make sure that this is all tidied up. You can see we've got um, some nice uh, marking lines that PowerPoint helps you to make the games with. And bring that in a little bit more. Yeah, perfect. So now when I open this slide, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> cool. Five points. I really like that. So let's go back to our search engine. I'll show you something else that's useful. Just choose a, a search for five PNG. This is what I do for games a lot. The first one is perfect. Look at that. Number five can use that one, let's just uh, copy that and then come back into uh, our main slide here and uh, change the size of that. Uh, put that in the top right hand corner or, or the left hand corner if you want. Um, I shall go for the left hand corner, looks good. And then add an animation for this one, uh, fade or flying and then select it to start with previous and let's make the timing for this one five okay five seconds you can change the duration as well um, let's change this one make it just fast so it has a different uh, fading and click OK so now at the end you'll get the five come up to reveal the points one two three four five five points good again we could make this look more interesting so why don't we choose another image again Let's just go for apples again. And let's find a background image. I really like this one, <laughs> but I'm not gonna use that. Um, let's just keep going through, see what we can find. That one's quite nice, yeah. Okay, we use that. Copy this image and um, come back into PowerPoint and then CTLRV and then choose send to back. Sorry, I send backwards, just one. Sorry, send to back, the whole thing. Okay, there, good, like this. And five. That looks nice. I would prefer to add a transparency onto this one. So click transparency here, and uh, just relocate this to the start, and choose start with previous. And now that's gonna put some uh, translucency onto that image. Yeah, that looks much better. One, two, three, four, five, five points. Good. Now, this is a key point where we need to start thinking about links. So once we've got those five points and that team for the students, they write down their points or you write down their points. 
and uh, we need to go back to the main question slide. So click on uh, number five here, and what I'm gonna do is add a link in here. So I'm gonna go to link and insert link and choose place in this document. Now I know that slide number two is the main question slide, so I'm gonna select that one and click OK. So the actual number five is gonna be the link to go back to the main question slide. You can also make the background the link if you want to. Let me just show you that now. Same again, slide two and click OK and that will take you back to the main question slide. Cool, so what we've got now is we've got the template for the main question slide there, the question and answer slide, and also our points reveal slide. Just on a quick note here, you can add notes into PowerPoint. So I'm just gonna write in here a question, question and answer slide, slide, if I can type correctly and uh, I'm just gonna type in here point slide. So these are quite useful if you need to write any notes about the uh, games that you're making. They're a very useful part of my uh, working structure. So you're probably wondering, so how is this game gonna start connecting? Let's go back to the main question slide. Again, this is the key part. This is where the penny drops of how these games actually work. If I go to question number one, let's click on that apple and now let's choose link. And what I'm gonna do is question number one is going to link to slide number three. This is where it all ties up. So let's open up this main question slide and let's choose number one. Click on number one. We get our Apple question and our Apple answer and then if I push the space bar or click the mouse, the points are going to be revealed. Number five comes up, I can click on number five or I can click on the background. That takes me back to the main question slide. Now what you can see is that question number one, the apple has disappeared. Because we set up the timing that the, that apple is gonna disappear after we've clicked on it. Also, we set the link to go to the question. So when we come back, that is the timing when that apple is gonna disappear. So now we have the key part of our game set in motion. So now what I'm gonna do is make a lot more point slides. So let's take our original point slide that we just made, right click and choose copy, and then just click below that slide and then CTRLV to paste the same slide. I'm gonna left click on the number five here and right click and cut it. And the fifth apple I'm gonna left click on and right click and cut it, okay? So now basically I've got a four point slide. One, two, three, four. However, it'd be useful if I can go back to a search engine and just do a search for four PNG. Good, nice and easy there, there's a red one there. Click on this one here, right click and copy the image and then back to PPT and paste that one into the slide and resize it. So what I can do is I can check the timing on the fourth apple here. You can see that it is a, a three second delay there with a one second duration. So I'm just gonna go onto number four, add an animation, uh, fading and then start with previous and then let's set the timing to four seconds with a duration of one second. So this would give me the four point slide now. One, two, three, four, four. Good. If you want to stick with the link in the background, you can go with that or you can go ahead and add a new link into this one here. Uh, slide number two goes back to the main question screen. Now let's copy that slide again and come below and paste. I'm gonna delete out number four. And I'm also gonna delete out the uh, fourth apple. What I would do with this slide though, I'll relocate the apples. Let's bring them into the center. That looks good. And then go back to the search engine. Let's just change this one to three PNG. 
Uh, we need a red one if we can. White and number three. Perfectly. Perfectly good. Copy that image and then come back in and then paste. So now let's resize this uh, number three. I'm going to put it in the top left hand corner. Uh, make it a bit smaller than that. I like that. Keep the continuity. And do an animation. Let's choose fade. And so let's start with previous. And check in the timing. Um, just change it one second more to three seconds. So it comes after the third apple. And then choose one second as a duration and click OK. So now let's see how this slide looks. One, two, three. Good. Happy with that. And now let's copy this slide again. Same structure and paste the slide. Delete out number three. Uh, delete out the third apple and cut that one there. Uh, let's make these apples a little bit bigger because there's only two of them. And what I do is click on the left hand one, click on the right hand one. We'll just put them next to each other like this. One and two. Uh, let's go back to our search engine again and choose two PNG. Uh, number two. Obviously, once you start making your own games, you can just copy these uh, pictures for these numbers from previous PPTs. Or you can choose something new if you like. So number two, let's put number two in the middle this time and select animation and fade and then start with previous, click the drop down arrow, choose the timing, change it to two seconds and then put the duration as one second and then choose OK. So now we have our slide, one, two, two points. Cool. Oh, like I said as before, if you want to add a link into here, you can. Uh, I usually prefer to make the background, the link, is the most comfortable way to make these games. So slide two can be connected as a link. Cool. So this is it, the final one now. So copy again and paste. Let's delete out number two and delete out the second apple. And then left click on this uh, final apple. Let's make it really big slightly to the left, uh, go back into our search engine, choose uh, one PNG. Nice, yeah, there we go, it's number one there. Just check it's a PNG image and then copy and then paste. Yeah, you can choose the, the right click and the paste or the CTLRV and paste. And uh, where should we put this? Just put this in the top right hand corner Add the animation, uh, choose it as fade, uh, start with previous, and then just check the timing. And this time it's just a delay of one second and a duration of one second. Look at that, we have it. One point. So you can see now what I've done. The reason I started with uh, five points is that we can cut it back to make all of the other points. So we've got five, four, three, two, one. Cool. So, of course, this needs to be a bomb game. So the final thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go back into our search engine and I'm just going to search bomb PNG. Uh, let's find ourselves a really nice bomb that we can use. Maybe this one. Yeah, this is cool. And right click and copy the image and go back to our PPT and paste that one in there. I'm gonna resize it a little bit. Put it in the middle here. So let's put an animation on it. Um, what I would do, I'll put a fade animation on this one and start with previous. I'll make the timing so that the duration is one second, so it's a little bit longer. Just to give it a little bit more animation, if we go into add animation and choose Tita, this is going to make it shake backwards and forwards and select start with previous. You can change the timing as you like. You can make it fast or medium. I'm going to choose medium. So when this one opens, it comes in and then it just shakes around a little bit. Of course, it would need a background. So let's just use the same background. Uh, go into the other slide, left click and then right click as copy 
and then come back to our slide here and then right click and then choose to paste the image on top and then right click and then choose send to back like this. Um, it would be a good idea to move this background image so it's the first image in the animation pane. And then the last thing I want to do is just add the sound. So if we go to picture two, which is our bomb, go to effect options, and then go to uh, the sounds effects. And if you look in here, you'll find a bomb. I think there's an explosion and a bomb. The explosion is a lot louder than the bomb. So I'm just gonna select the, uh, the bomb for this game and click okay. And now we've got our bomb sound. So when this one opens, bomb. So if the team gets this slide, they're going to lose all their points. So now you can see I have everything I need. I have five points, four points, three points, two points, one points, and a bomb. Now, of course, that's not enough slides to make this game. We actually need 24 different slides. So the very simple thing to do would be to copy these, um, left click on uh, one of the slides, and then scroll down and then hold the shift key and left click again, and then right click and copy, and then just come below, and then just paste all of these slides again. So that's gonna give me uh, 12 slides now that I can use. And then if I do the same thing again, just left click on the first one, and then copy all of these slides, and then right click and copy, and then just come below, and then paste again. So that should give me now 24 slides that I can use for 24 questions. Now, if I go down to the bottom right-hand corner, click on these four small squares, this is the slide sorter. Now you can see all of the slides that are in this game. And what I want to do is copy and paste a question and answer slide in between all of the points and the bomb slides. So left click on the question and answer slide and then choose copy. And after that, right click and go in between the points, okay? In between five and four, right click and paste. Now I'm going to go in between four and three, right click and paste and keep following the same procedure, one between three and two and so on. So there will need to be one question and answer slide for every uh, points reveal and every bomb reveal within this game. And once this is done, we're gonna do the final task. We're gonna go back to the main question slide and we're gonna link every question on that slide onto one of the question and answer slides in the game. And this is gonna be the final process that we need to do. So now let's go back to the main question slide. Just double click on this one, left double click on the mouse. And you'll remember that before I showed you that number one, question number one was linked to slide two. Let's just check that again. So we go right click and edit link. And we can see there slide two is linked to question number one. So what I want to do now is go to question number two, right click, choose link. And this time I'm gonna set this one to link to slide four. So question two links to slide four. And we're gonna follow the same procedure. Left click on question number three, choose link. And this time, number six, question and answer. I have to stress that this is very important because if you make a mistake in your linking, it will completely mess up the game. So you have to make sure that the order is going correct, okay? So now I'm going to go to slide 10. And then the last one here is going to be linked to slide 12. So it's going up in even numbers. Now that's the first row done. So if you hover the mouse over question number one, you can see it's slide two, slide four, slide six, slide eight, slide 10, slide 12. This is a very useful way to check if they are connected and linked to the right slide. Now I'm going to left click on question number seven and then right click and then choose slide 14 as the link for question seven. And then I'm gonna repeat the process for all of the questions, okay? So question eight is gonna be linked to slide 16 and so on. So this process is a little bit boring and tedious. However, it's 
absolutely essential that we do this to make sure the game is actually going to work. I'd like to emphasize it's really important to make sure you do link all of the questions to the correct question and answer slides. So if it's your first time making a game like this, take your time, take it slowly. It will save you more time in the long time if you make a mistake because you'll have to go back and fix it. And when it's all done, you can just hover the mouse or the cursor over these questions and you can see the slide numbers for each one of the questions respectively. Okay, so now let's try this game out. So of course this is a template. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make one question in here. I'm gonna paste in a picture of an apple. Um, you can use any pictures and make any questions you like. So let's just write in the top here, what's this? Question mark. And then the answer, it's an apple. Good. And then let's go to the main question slide. Go to the bottom right hand corner here and open up the presentation. Good. So I'm gonna choose number one. What's this? It's an apple. And push the space bar or left click the mouse. Good. <laughs> there it is, five points, five happy apples. I can click on the background or I can click on the number five. That would take me back to the main question slide. Uh, let's choose another one, number six. Question and answer. And push the space bar or click the mouse. And here we have the bomb. So in this one, I put the link to go back to the main question slide in the background. So click on that, takes me back. And you can see the number six apple has now disappeared. Uh, let's choose one more, number eight. Question and answer. One, two, three, four, four points. Good. Click on the background or click on the number four takes us back to the main question slide. So there we have it, a very simple PPT, English bomb game. Um, I chose a very simple theme, an apple, you could choose a different theme, lemon, orange, sausages, whatever you like. And just remember, I mean, you can be uh, creative with this. If you want to change the template, you can make uh, these question and answers smaller or bigger make the main picture in the middle bigger. You can set it up however you like. So please go ahead and download the template for making this game in the description of this video. I'm also including this game, so you can actually download that. You can actually play it if you want to, but you can actually look at it and just see how it's made. I hope this was useful to people. Um, I said it was gonna be a very simple, <laughs> very simple tutorial. It's gone on quite long. Anyway, Thanks very much for watching this video and I really hope that you have a chance to make your own great and amazing PPT English bomb game. Bye for now and see you in the next one.